What's up everyone, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Libby and in this video we're explaining the difference between a land spout and a tornado. We're talking about this now because we actually just saw a land spout drop down, didn't cause any damage, but we saw it drop down here in Arkansas. There was a video that went out you could just barely see a funnel cloud coming down and then a little bit of dust be picked up from the land spout. So overall our pattern right now we just have this upper level low spinning over us. Not really great dynamics for tornadoes. We didn't see a tornado though. We saw a land spout. But as far as the National Weather Service goes, they treat them the same. They give them the same ratings. And in this case, we had an EFU, which means EF unknown. We don't know how strong it was. So what are the difference is between land spouts and tornadoes? Well, they're both a rotating column of air. That's about the only similarities they have because a tornado needs to come from a supercell thunderstorm. That's a thunderstorm that is rotating. A land spout can come just from a normal rain shower or a non supercell thunderstorm. And the biggest difference is the strength. So tornadoes, we know they can get very strong winds over 200 miles per hour, deadly, damaging, very dangerous. Land spouts can be a little stronger, maybe winds as high as 100 miles per hour, but the majority of them are really weak. That's like the one we saw in Arkansas today. Again, that was just a couple miles north of Pine Bluff. And when it really comes to safety, when it comes to land spouts, you just really need to get inside. You don't need a necessarily a tornado shelter. You don't need to be in the basement because they're not quite as strong. But again, if you do see a land spout, which looks like a tornado, head indoors.